is Nen Zhang. I'm an associate professor of communication studies. My specialty is uh, Chinese internet, uh, Chinese politics, and Chinese policies. So my name is Xiao Yu Wang. I'm associate director of the Charlotte Visualization Center. So the area that I'm working at is visual analytics of the big data analysis and social media analytics, and that's where we have been having joint projects between digital humanity and computer science majors. The project, um, we call it Tweet China, we're interested in looking at uh, the sort of interactions people have on Twitter about China. We want to extract the tweets, analyze the tweets, and understand interactions between people. So this is to help us to understand the communities who are talking about China, what they're um, primarily focused on, and uh, who may be the leaders, and how this community has grown over the years. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will speak a few yeah. words about the project itself. Uh, so this uh, seed grant uh, from Liberal Arts and Sciences has been really helpful in uh, uh, starting uh, this project. Uh, so uh, for me and, and Derek, uh, we are looking at uh, all these tweets about China on Twitter. And uh, one of the goals that we want to achieve is to have um, and to have the ability to answer uh, such basic questions as who are on Twitter uh, talking about China? What are they talking about? What aspects of China are they interested in? Who are opinion leaders in this space? And how are the interactions uh, going in such a space? Um, I think we have already generated quite a lot of interest. For instance, my colleagues who study uh, China uh, and uh, who are interested in Chinese uh, politics They've already contacted me, and, and they are very enthusiastic to learn about uh, the outcome of the project. Uh, also, the other component, uh, I think, uh, is the visual analytics component, is to have the ability to um, not only archive the big data that's coming out of Twitter, but also being able to visualize in such a way that uh, you know um, common people like you and me would be able to interact with data and uh, conduct some analyses. So we're thinking about uh, having different modes to show people uh, the data uh, and interact with the data, such as the mapping mode, um, the picture mode, um, and also the events mode. So uh, in terms of the three, I'll explain a little bit. The mapping mode, we would like to um, have the tweets located on such interfaces like uh, Google Maps, so people know where these tweets are coming from. Uh, and second of all, we're also interested in picture mode. In terms of what are some of the highly retweeted pictures uh, in this space, what do these pictures tell us about what's going on in China and what, what, what people are concerned about? Um, the last one is events. We know that a lot of uh, media uh, interactions are driven by events. We want to understand more about how people talk uh, and how people interact with one another uh, doing these events. Yeah, so on an on a overall scale, what we're trying to do here is to understand two things, right? Mm -hmm. The demographics. Mm -hmm. So who are the most representative people online, on social media, mm -hmm. even speaking for, uh, uh, kind of speaking about China, mm -hmm. their demographics, where their nationality, are they transnational, or so on and so forth, those kind of research questions. On the other, on the other hand is to understand the community. Right? We want to see who are bundling together because if you think about social media, it's, it's a virtual world. It's breaking the boundaries of the physical location of the world. And we're trying to see how people from a physical location are going to influence their community on a virtual world. Mm -hmm. So that's two major goals here. Um, but fundamentally what we are doing here, uh, like Min touched on, is that the ultimate goal for this SIG project is to have a website or interactive visual analytic system that allows the data democracy. We want data to speak for themselves online and we want everyone, I mean really everybody, to be able to go online and interplay with those data and finding patterns that mm -hmm. just two of our researchers, we may not even notice, but the, I firmly believe the wisdom of the crowds. So for them to understand what's going on there and for them to depict insights and provide feedback to the, uh, to the project. Mm -hmm. And just a side note, one of the goals for this project, seed product, is for us to go beyond mm -hmm. just a seed product. Um, as you can see, we would like to go beyond just China well, because community exists in many different uh, part of the geographical part of the world. Mm -hmm. 
we want to go to be able to really look into how we can use social media to infer demographics, to cultivate the communities, and going for a bigger grants that will involve more people or having more long-term research projects out right. of this. Yeah, I would definitely agree. Uh, one of the things that we, we do, uh, hopefully with the seed grant, is to draw people from different parts of the world who are interested in China and how China is talked about on Twitter to come to us and, and find for themselves uh, what uh, people are talking about about China. And second stage, as uh, Derek mentioned, is to um, scale the project in such a way that we're not only talking about China anymore, but uh, China is a, is a keyword for now, but uh, users can use just about any keyword to tap into uh, those, the swell of information that we already have right, and, and um, on Twitter that we have archived since 2011. I think one of the things from a computer science point of view is it seems for us when we do our products is more isolated to computer science. We push algorithms and we push it out. But the thing that I'm pushing my center to going forward is to, you know, how we can transform computer science research into humanitarian research. Mm -hmm. How we can make an impact to the world based on what the thing we do. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a perfect marriage between these two pro uh, side of the research si um, mm -hmm. area is to translate our strengths in co social media analysis, but in the in into the whole global uh, kind of scaffolding of if we understand a community, we can better serve that community or better for people to understand that community and really transform that into a humanitarian side of the work. So that's one of the goals that we're trying to achieve here.